man. Crazy dude's all right. I thought y'all get along. Maybe y'all too much alike, though. Me and him? Oh, hell no, man. You think? Hell yeah, I think. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, hey, 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 homie! Fuck this guy talking about, it. nigga. He crazy. Listen up, gang. Thanks for you, fool. You got your feel? But I've got so much to learn from you crazy street cats. Hey, G. It ain't G. It's T. Trevor. Exactly. Yeah, well, fine. What's up? Uh, you call me, nigga. You been smoking? No. Probably why I'm calling you rather than doing something more productive. Well, this is fun, but a little awkward. Exactly. I gotta go. Hey, buddy. You're hanging out with me. Cool it down, homie. Ain't shit changed in the last two minutes. I'll come for you in your sleep. Aight. Good to hang out, homies. For real. But, uh, do me a favor. Yeah? What? Don't call me homie until we homies. Oh, wow. Meaning what? Meaning we're not friends? Uh, meaning I can't speak your language? Uh, a little bit of both. Well then, maybe go fuck yourself, you long streak of piss, before I eviscerate you with a spoon! Man, I don't know what the fuck that means. But calm down, you care fool. Both of y'all acting tough. Dude, you know me long enough to know I ain't acting. Man, I said crazy, not stupid, okay? Either way, calm down, man, and be welcoming to our guests. My bad. Welcome. Thank you. Clowns to the left and more fucking clowns to the right. Remind me again why I agreed to roll with you two fools. Clowns?! Where's the fucking clown? Man, I mean, like, you crazy motherfuckers. Oh, hey there. okay. I'm hoping it's I thought there nice was a clown in here. Beach. This dude's scared of clowns. Ha! <laughs> I knew he was soft. Hey! We are all soft on the inside, bro. You want to feel your guts come out your asshole? Just let me know. Well, like, if you, like, want to see your brain come out your motherfucking ear, then go into your motherfucking mouth, then come out your asshole, and then, like, go on the ground and shit where I can piss on it, you got my digits. That didn't come off threatening so much as silly, my friend. He's right, dawg. I don't need no stupid ass threats to intimidate people. My killer Apache eyes do that for me. Of course they do, man. Look, leave it there, all right? Hey, Lamar, you're rolling with me for a while. I couldn't pass up on that opportunity. I'm coming to get you. Oh, snap. Of course, what else would your crazy ass be driving? You fucking weirdo. You got a weird look in your eye, dude. So, it's cool to hang out, man. Well, that's why I called you. Because I'm a fun guy, and you seem like you need a friend. Man, that's cool, but I got a gang of homies already. I'm one of them crazy cats that the big dogs want to be and the bitches want to be with. Huh. There's a lot of animals you got there. I know. I'm a fucking jungle cat like a panther. I got this magnetic thing that attracts people. Yeah, 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 me too. Hey, and I can tell that about you. But I'm kind of new in town, so I need more friends with an N. Then I'm your dog, dog. For real? For real. It's good seeing you, man. You too, Leroy. Leroy? Oh, it's Lamar, motherfucker. Isn't that a girl's name? Sounds very feminine. Nah, this shit ain't no feminine name, nigga. It's my oh, name. Shit. Okay. Touched a nerve. Good to know. Hey, I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> yeah, me too. I always dreamed about rolling with a gangbanger. Yeah, and I had dreams about creepy-ass serial killers too. Only thing, they was trying to murder me rather than hang with me. But it's cool. Homie, we're homies now. Now we're homies? For Shigadale. For Shigadale. Good, good to know. I was real keen to graduate from bro to homie. Then you graduated, nigga. So what's happening, homie? I don't know, homie. What's happening? I knew this homie thing might go wrong with you. Anything coming out that mouth just seemed creepy as fuck. Eh, hey, don't get creeped out, homie. Man, you gonna ruin the motherfucking word for me. Shit. Trevor, dude, what's up? I had to leave town. Shit, I ain't surprised. I heard some funny stories about some dude pinching a real nasty Mexican dude wife, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's my man Trevor. I have no idea what you're talking about. Sure, bro. Sure. You can call me when you get back in town. Hey, man, I was just thinking about you. Really? Why's that? The place where you stay, it's like a crime scene, dawg. Yeah, 
Tragedy struck soon after I left. Sure, sure, whatever. Where you at now? Currently reside at the Vanilla Unicorn. You gotta come by. Cool, I love that spot. Say what up to Leon for me. Leon? Sure, yeah, I'll see if he's around. Hey, boss, how you doing, Trevor? Oh. Man, just try to act normal for a few hours, okay? So word is, you one crazy motherfucker, T. <laughs> Absolute nonsense, amigo. <laughs> Ain't what I heard. Truth is, stuff gets exaggerated. I'm really a mellow guy with a very, very low tolerance for lies and bullshit. That's what I told him. Told who? Franklin. Uh-uh. I mean, nobody. That grateful little fat shit. He's just like his buddy Michael. I tell you, I'm gonna teach him the problems with a lack of gratitude, me, and a blowtorch. Fucking wretch. Shit. Only song. Chill, 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 man. He ain't mean it like that. Then how did he mean it, homie? And think before you speak, as there are now lives on the line. Uh, oh, my bad. I mean, I mean, he meant that you were crazy in the efforts that you would go to to protect the truth and help him. He did. Yeah, real shit. Please. All right, all right. I love that. What happened to the ones I sent you? So, uh, since you all on this mentorship slash role model slash inspiration tip with the homie Franklin, I was wondering, you know, why don't you give an up and comer the game? Yeah. Slash. Sure, Slash. First and only lesson, loyalty. So you mean like only eating at Burger Shop and not fucking with that clunking bell shit? I mean, your crew are your brothers. Without them, you're nothing. Well, Frank ain't that good a student if he leaves me on the road to hang with you motherfuckers. Michael doesn't impart the same value system as me. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, dude. I'm with that. Loyalty for sure. But, uh, I heard that Michael dude was living in a big-ass house while you down here bumming in a motherfucking trailer. So maybe his is the example to take. But, you know, I'm just talking out loud, man. I'm just thinking this shit through. Hey, if you want to be rich and miserable, fuck loyalty. Fuck it in its ass. Nah, man, nah, fuck that. If that's the case, I'd rather be broke and angry, just like you. And loyal, too. Really, though, I'm all about loyalty. I miss Brad. Who is that now? My buddy. Brad, I miss him. Well, you and me right now, so uh, enjoy the moment, motherfucker. Don't talk about people who ain't here. You miss Brad so much, go fucking hang with Brad. Leave my ass alone, thank you. Yeah, well, I would hang with Brad, but he's gone away. Oh shit, man, my bad. Hey, Don't miss Franklin it. like I, I miss Brad, forever. right? Shit, I won't. Oh, I mean, that is my nigga, but shit, when he gone, he gone. But it sound like you and Brad love Brad real deep. I mean, don't get in the situation where you have to miss him. Look out for him. Stick together. Okay, okay, for sure. You right, but when y'all niggas finish with him, I'ma stick to his rich ass as tight as I can. Hey, Trevor, what's up? Nothing much. Good to hear a friendly voice. So, I heard that Michael dude ain't dead no more. Yeah, for a fat, lying shit, he's surprisingly resilient. What you gonna do? That's the question. That is the question. Listen, I gotta go. Hey, Trevor, dog, I was gonna call you. L.D., why's that? To thank you, dog. coming up to that fucking sawmill, mashing up them ballers. Hey, what are friends for? Man, loyalty's a hard thing to come by, my dude. You's a real homie. Franklin called me. Thank him, man. I'll see ya. Hey, crazy man, you calling me to share some of that metal, dog? Nah, I'm calling to thank you for backing us up. Nothing says thank you like a gold bar, homie. Nothing says thank you like saying thank you. You're a good kid. I'm a poor kid. Man, shit. Ah! Hey, come on, crazy dude. Let's fuck shit up. Yeah. Fuck shit up? I don't think that's your forte. Forte? Man, I fuck shit up all the time. Oh, bro, are you for real? Because you seem like a bit of a pussy. You the one using them old French-ass words with accents and shit, Forte. <laughs> Nigga, you the pussy. You don't seem like you got the killer edges all. No offense. Nothing to be ashamed of. Some people are just born soft. I ain't soft, bitch. I prove I ain't no pussy right motherfucking now. Come on. Wait, oh shit, wait, wait, wait. This old trick, now you on that bullshit. It's like, if you ain't no pussy, pull your pants down and let me touch you like a real man. 
Man, fuck that. I'm on to you, nigga. Oh, creepy-ass motherfucker. Nothing to be ashamed of. So, Lamar, I got a question. What up? Do you love me as a friend? I got love for all my homies, homie. Do you love me more than Chop? Man, what kind of fucked up question is that, fool? You good, homie, but, uh, Chop? Chop is Chop. So, uh, Trevor, I got a question. Ooh, the answer is the liver. Always the liver. Um, okay. But well, look, I really was going to ask you, though, who you got more love for, me or Franklin, man? Come on, keep it 1,000 with your boy, man. Keep it real. You can holler at me. Keeping it 1,000, it's Franklin, homie. Sorry. I like you, and I respect you, and we're friends, but Franklin's in the crew. Maybe one day you'll be, but now it's Franklin. Yeah, okay. For sure. I got you. Fuck me! So listen, kid, can I tell you about something creepy? And to be up front, it's all your fault. What'd I do now? It's the friend of yours! Lamar, convinced he's, well, is he gay? Because he has a serious man crush on me. It's flattering, but he's, he's just not my type. I imagine you get that a lot. Where you been, nigga? Sucking that glass dick? So how you been, dude? You know, couldn't come. I'll let you, boy, man. Tell me about it. It's hard when you're all alone in the world. A guy trying to stay true to his principles. Why everybody else sells theirs for a new phone, huh? Uh, exactly. I feel you, homie. Will you? Will you feel me? What? Will you? Will you hold me? What I want to be held. Oh, no, nah, nigga, I don't get down like that. I thought we were friends. Friends don't mean holding each other. It's not like that in the movies. Shit, it is in the movies I see. Well, I'm... I'm a little upset. I'll try Let's to get over. to the range later and fire off a few So let me tell you something, homie. Tell away. Man, sometimes I even frighten myself. Me too. When I realize what I'm thinking. Shit, I do it with a look. I be in the mirror just staring at myself, and I see them sharks staring right back at me like, look, boom, terror. Literally the most frightening shark to ever say boo to me. I'm the real deal. Sure you are, buddy. Sure. I'm old school. Dangerous nigga. I'm like a throwback, but like, like a throwback that couldn't exist in any other time because I'm all on the internet and I got a smartphone. I'm a reboot that's cold, dawg. I'm happy for you. Hey, you know what, T? You all right, man. You all right. Thank you, Lamar. Kind of getting fond of you, too. But you don't scare me, motherfucker. You crazy, but you good people, though. Thank you. I like to think so. And you saw. Whoa! Now you're pushing it. I suggest shutting up. Yeah, whatever, nigga. Hey, man, you ever played sports as a kid? Some hockey. I wasn't very good at teams, or coaches, either. Me too, man. Me too. Fuck a team. We more of two dudes against the world type dudes. Yeah, it seems that way, don't it? Yeah, if you in for a good time now, hanging with two crazy motherfuckers. Hooray. Was that sarcasm, Franklin? No. No, not at all. What on earth gave you that idea? You're imagining things, dawg. Couldn't be more happier. Man, it's good to be rolling with you two crazy motherfuckers again. For real, for real. I'm beginning to feel that we're, how would you say? Brothers from another mother? No, let's leave mothers out of this. Kindred spirits, that's the phrase. What you think, Franklin? <sighs> Shit, maybe. For real though, fuck you, Frank. We kindred. Give it up, my nigga T. Yeah, you kindred, right? In the way like you both belong in a asylum. I think you mean like we both unconventional mavericks like that. Yeah, that's it. Now that's just the fucking word I was looking for. My God! You two really whine at each other like a pair of girls, don't you? That's what old friends are for, nigga. You know why I like hanging with you two? I feel normal is why. Balanced. Really? Because you should be feeling like a pussy. He a pussy, ain't he, man? Pussy's been calling non-pussies abnormal since the dawn of time. <laughs> Fools, man. The both of y'all. It's cool to hang out. I love it when it's the three of us. 
Just three crazy motherfuckers doing crazy shit. Yeah. Nothing like spending time with you crazy fuckers to remind me how normal I am. And I pity you for it. Thank you, Trevor. How you been? Confused, if I'm honest. What you talking about, homie? Well, the, these people I met in the bar the other day. Nice people, so I thought. But then I rethought that and realized they were exceedingly rude and disrespectful. So I followed them home and... Well, anyway, let, let's just say they won't make that mistake again. You ever get that? Not quite, homie. I mean, I, I, I want to relate. I really do, but... Uh... I'm kind of out there. I'll admit it, nigga. Bad ass. But you do? You you straight up crazy. I'm not crazy. Yeah, but you act crazy. So is you crazy like hear voices in your head and shit? I'm not crazy. Is there a voice telling you to kill me right now? A tiny little voice in your head? There is no voice telling me. Wait. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, it's talking. It's telling me to kill you. Army? Is there, is there a code of appearance for being in your gang now? Hell yeah. It's always been a dress code. Flag, colors, all that shit got the match. But uh, you ain't in the gang. I'm just saying, though, you look a little bit all over the place with that shit, nigga. And you stink. I don't have time to think about that shit. Well, it's the only thing I can think about when I'm within 10 feet of you, is you stink, man. You smell like ass. Preppy gangbangers. What is the world coming to? Oh, the functional thing. Hey, hey, you asshole. Let's do it, crazy man. Sure. Let me ask you a question. Yo, King Hop, have I got what it takes? What it takes? Can I gang bang? Shit, you tell me, hump. Well, what does it take? I mean, I love the music. I'm nearly a rapper, but I just feel like I do. Yeah. I tried breakdancing, but I'll be honest. It wasn't pretty. Breakdancing? Wow. Come on, it's all the same breakdancing. Circle jerks, drive-by molestings. I'm down for all of it. What the fuck is wrong with you, fool? Nothing. What's wrong with you? Getting all touchy. Man, I ain't touchy. It's just you ain't being nice. Can I be a nice gangbanger then? If that's what's important? Fuck you. So let me ask you something. Hit me. No. Ask you. Anyway, are you a baller? A ball sack? Oh, hell no. Are you shitting me? Nigga, this family's for life. Uh, what's the difference? The difference is everything. The difference is about being real and about being a self-proclaimed bust. The difference is between green, like grass, and purple, like a big old purple shit. Cool. Well, I think I got that. So, you down with me? All families? Nah, nah. Most of them assholes. I'm down with my set, though. And there's a few other sets, but most families, you know, them niggas is assholes. But the right kind of asshole. Exactly. Asshole. Not turf. Ah, now I've got you. You know, I should be in a gang. How about I join up with you boys? Hey, dog, I might be wrong, but I think you suffer from a slight pigmentation problem. But you guys have got your new thing. Right? Meet forums, what's it? Bringing me in, that's the kind of revolutionary step that'll get you noticed. The new thing is kind of in turnaround, dawg. But there's some family offshoots in the Midwest where everyone looks like you. <laughs> Internet gangsters. So listen, gents. After all this time, I want to ask you a question. Holla at me, bro. When do I get my colors? My flag, wh whatever you call it. What? I can bang. I've not been invited into the... Gang! <laughs> Induct me, or molest me, do whatever it is, but I want in. Uh, it, it ain't that simple, T. Ah, oh, come on! I mean, if it was my call to make, you'd be on for real, my nigga, but it ain't on me. I want in. All right, all right. Let me holler at the homies and see what they say. So, I've been thinking about it. I'm in your gang, boys. Now what now? 
This banger is in your gang. -er. CGF, FG, DVDA, I want it all. Man, you don't want the OGs to hear that, homie. Screw the OGs. I'm the most original gangster you know. When we get home, I'm printing a membership card. Good luck with that. <laughs>